Welcome back to the channel guys, this is Waterman Gaming, we're back with another video. This is the review for Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. So, it took us six videos to complete the game, which isn't actually too bad. The actual story of the game is actually really good. Like, I actually really enjoyed the story. And I'm sorry that it took me so long to actually complete the game. But, um... Yeah, it was actually a really good story. Good character development for every member of the team. And, uh... Yeah, everything about the game was actually really good. Much better than Marvel's Avengers. Definitely. But, um, yeah, I also love the fact that you can customize every character's outfit, and throughout the entire game, you keep getting upgrades for the for each guardian, like new abilities. But it's not just that; you also get upgrades to Peter Quill's or Star Lord's pistols. And apart from um, long range combat, you've got melee combat. Melee combos are different for each enemy you fight. And there are multiple different types of enemies in the game. Which are actually really good. Ooh. Gives a lot more um, variety. There are 16 chapters of the game, or missions, if you will. And yeah, it's really good. So, that's the story. Combat, obviously, you just saw a lot of combat just now. Dark Shadows, the melee combat, and long range. You can transfer to the environment in many different ways. We go either right or left at this part. Every now and then you get special decisions like that you can do. Always look in every nook and cranny because you can actually find some chests that contain outfits for characters. That thing is ridiculous. I think it was a ship or a robot. That's a Cree Sentry. A robot, but it would have been space worth. <laughs> that ain't even the biggest one. They designed at least five experimental models twice that size. Impressive, but I could fly circles and then, um, around something that big. Obviously, every now and then, depending on what mission you're, you're on, you can actually fly them in ammo, which is the Guardian ship. Really cool sequences. Uh, you can upgrade your skills and stuff if you find enough crafting materials. And obviously you need each guardian ability to transfer to the assignment like this. I don't want to spend too long on this with you because there's not much to talk about. Oh, also, depending on what mission you have, Rocky will start competitions with you. Like this one, um, you have to destroy enough of these before him to win. I don't know what happens if you lose. I think if you lose, he just drags about it. But yeah. obviously your relationships with each guardian 
can actually get updated depending on stuff you find if you give them to the right um, right guardian on the ship your relationship will be affected As you can tell, Drax still doesn't have any humor. You know what, Quill? I think it's unfair. You got two guns, I got one. I think my points should count double from now on. That's cheating. It's not gonna piss off every critter around, right? Sorry, Quill. Not taking no chances after the last one. I gotta test it real quick. Not again. Here we go again. There. Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess that's the end of this review. Time for the rating. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. I know I didn't talk much about it, but that's because the game... I can't really talk too much about the game without ruining it. I know you you go to places like nowhere, lots of abandoned ships, obviously quarantine zone, and... Oh, yeah loads of places but um yeah can't really talk too much about the game without spoiling too much of it so not even gonna bother but yeah that's 7 out of 10 for me hopefully you enjoyed if you did hit the like button turn the notification bell enjoy more come back hit the subscribe and i'll see you in the next video until then Wolfspin Gaming signing off